Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another The Sports Goo video. And today we are going to be talking about a very, very interesting topic, and that is about Brian Dable, Bills, old Bills offensive coordinator, now a new Giants head coach, and you know, being a Giants fan, very excited about this. To be fair, I had some mixed opinions, but I'm overall excited about this signing, uh, a Giants W that you really don't see very often. But today, even more specifically, not we're not really going to be talking about the Giants hire. You guys have talked about that. We know what that will do for the Giants, but we're mainly going to be talking about the repercussions it may have on the Bills and talking about the impact it may have on Bills quarterback Josh Allen. Obviously, uh, both uh, Josh Allen, or excuse me, the jo Josh Allen, the Bills, currently Bills Mafia, obviously are hurting very, very much. And even as a Giants fan, as someone who, you know, is a New York fan, uh, obviously hurting. I, I even feel a sting a little bit from that Bills loss, obviously wanting the Bills to win, but not, not as much a sting as a fan, but feeling for um, some of, of the Bills fans and obviously how hard they worked this season. Definitely a little bit unfortunate um, that they weren't able to pull out and win, but excuse me, today we're going to be talking about will Josh Allen regress potentially because of Dable um, and what the impacts of losing Dable will be on Josh Allen. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the whole video. Let me know what you think down below and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so it's it's an interesting topic, and I actually got the idea from this from a comment on an Instagram post, um, and I think it's really interesting because Brian Dable to me is a very it's a very good signing for the Giants. You know, Brian Dable to me is the kind of guy who's a very very good locker room guy, someone who we know how smart he can be and what he can do for this Giants team. And I think, you know, definitely the question I'm posing, not as much pushing is, will they will be able to turn Daniel Jones into somewhat or help Daniel Jones, guide Daniel Jones into taking that step of what Josh Allen did, which I think is definitely a very intriguing uh, question posed. And I guess we'll, you know, next season we'll see. But we know background about Dable and Josh Allen. We know that Dable... While obviously there were a lot of lot of reasons why Josh Allen progressed, the main gold, the main accomplishment of Dable's career is what he was able to not only do with Josh Allen, but able to do with this Bills offense. Um, it was this Bills offense that has been transformed, mainly obviously around Josh Allen, who was seen as a project quarterback coming out of the draft, coming out of Wyoming. And Dable, who was won a national championship at Alabama, comes in to Buffalo and obviously has just been fantastic for them as an offensive coordinator, you know, has rounded out one one of the best coaching groups in the NFL with Sean McDermott, with Leslie Frazier as your defensive coordinator. Um, but I think it's a really good question. Um, and, and, and obviously here to kind of talk about, and I, I honestly don't have an answer um, on, on what the impact will be, but I think here's the thing. It's a bit, what the, the big thing is I think they should promote their quarterback coach because he is a big, big reason why the Buffalo bills have been able to do or, or why um Josh Allen has been able to do what he's been doing and why he was able to take that step is because of, of obviously Dable, that coaching staff, um, but just, you know, the, the steps he's taken that we haven't seen um, in in a long, long time. And I think obviously that's a big thing. And, and what I really like is Ken Dorsey, their quarterback coach, and I think he's definitely someone who should be promoted. And, and that's what we see a lot is, is kind of those positional coaches promoted to the offensive coordinator job. Because I think if you look at, all of the open um, coordinator spots, uh, or, or excuse me, all the open offensive coordinators, generally there's not, I mean, Mike McDaniel, there, there are guys, but most of the offensive coordinators who are now in the market are want to be head coaches. You know, it kind of goes positional coach, offensive, defensive coordinator, and then head coach more or less. And then head coach may get fired and signed as a defensive coordinator. Officer. You know, it kind of uh, goes like that. But in terms of the impact Dable has had on Josh Allen, it's been fantastic. I think his ability to, which he will do with the Giants, his ability to open up that system and allow Josh Allen with the physical attributes he's had. I think what Dable has done so well is identified what Josh Allen is as a quarterback. Because someone coming out of Wyoming who 
really raw prospect, but has all those physical attributes. Um, you know, it's hard. It's hard to coach that. Um, and I think what Josh Allen needed coming out was obviously the the touching up of that arm. Obviously, we know this guy, I think, has the strongest arm in the NFL, or at least equal to the strongest arm in the NFL. He's just, you know, that, 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 what he has, what the, the intangibles he has are, are not coachable, right? Arm strength, ability, size, and ability to run, and, and kind of durability he has. And I think that was you know, shown very much in the Chiefs game this past weekend. But in terms of the impact, and I know I'm kind of dancing around it, but I really, it's, it's tough. Like I said, like it's very hard to have an answer to this. I think the impact that Dable leaving has on Josh Allen, I don't think it'll be big. And in terms of the will Josh Allen regress, I would be very, very surprised. Is it completely out of the picture? No, I guess not. And I think it definitely depends on what they do with that offensive coordinator position. But no. I don't think Josh Allen would necessarily regress. I would very, very. I think this guy is starting to get to that climax of, of elite, elite quarterback, and he's already gotten into that level of the Josh of the Mo. Like he is right now the elite, elite. He's the highest tier of NFL quarterbacks, um, in my mind, by you know easily, easily, easily in that top tier. So it then becomes a question of what will Dable leaving you know, kind of due to Josh Allen. I think this would be a much bigger question if it was right after the year Josh Allen took the step, then it would actually be a concern. Josh Allen knows the system in and out. He's played with Diggs now for two years. Gabe Davis is broken out. And I think if you can get a running back, it adds another facet to this offense that's already been fantastic. And I think that's really what they've been missing on offense because, you know, Diggs was kind of shut down in, the Chief, in that Chiefs game and when Chiefs just the Chiefs just do not have any good corners. And and then, you know, you've you know had Gabe Davis produce, which he was fantastic at. But I think... Josh Allen to me right now is not at the point where it's coaching is why he's it's all coaching why he's successful and a big reason why I wasn't a huge fan or excuse me that's a, I over overemphasized the, the big reason why I was slightly concerned about Dable going to the Giants or the Dolphins was because a lot of the play calling you see obviously Dable is a fantastic play caller what he's done scheme wise with this Bills offense has been fantastic. But what Dable does that concerned me was a lot of his play calling was bailed out by Josh Allen. You look at a lot of those plays in that Chiefs game, and Josh Allen bailed them out, whether it was rushing, it was basically rushing, just getting out of the pot, just using his intangibles to get the Bills out of some some bad play calling. Um, so I think what Dable did very well, obviously good play caller, but the scheme, the ability to open up that Bills offense, to notice Josh Allen's uh, um pros and then to coach them and make them even better and then obviously to get what he's not good at and improve those that's what he's done um and i think what josh allen i don't think he will necessarily miss that because i think he's at that point in his development where it's just up from here and while coaching always impacts a player you know mahomes you know it's always you know he's at that point of maturity where it's not as much you know hand holding where he needs to be handheld and, and still taught what to do. So again, I think it definitely does matter who their offensive coordinator ends up being because it'll either limit Josh Allen's abilities or keep them the same. So that's why I think hiring the quarterback coach um, makes the most sense. That's why I think hiring, um, why I think, excuse me, why I think, um, I don't know why that was weird. Why I think, I completely, I keep forgetting his name, so I have to keep looking at my phone. Why I think hiring, or excuse me, promoting Ken Dorsey to that offensive coordinator job would be the most, I think, just the most impactful. I don't think it will cause too much publicity, and I think that's what Josh Allen will be most happy with. Again, I'm not sure I could be wrong, um, but I think that's what would make the most sense is bringing Ken Dorsey on because he was a instrumental factor in the development of Josh Allen. So that's the thing. I think you look at what they were leaving. Obviously, it's huge. I think Josh, I think, you know, the amount of pain the Bills have went through, I think this definitely adds to it, losing Dable, who really has been an instrumental part in this offense and in this team. It definitely hurts. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you're not going to get a guy like Dable back. But I think why maybe even Dable and this Bills organization was was ready to let him go was obviously his success and obviously he was like all right at this point I think I can be a head coach but even more than that just he has given Josh Allen what he needs to be to be a successful quarterback he's brought him to that stage he's developed him so I think as I said Allen's at that maturity where it's not as much what will Dable you know play enough for me obviously plays happen but it's starting to get to the point where it's almost flip side where Josh Allen is kind of saving or kind of bailing out Dable on a lot of the play calling so I don't think that the impact necessarily Dable 
will have leaving will be very, very critical, very crucial. And obviously, I think Josh Allen is is probably not devastated, but probably very sad. I think all Bills players understand the talent Dable has with the Bills and, and why he deserves now a head coaching job. Um, but I think definitely it hurts. And I think, you know, I think we'll see little impacts on this Bills offense. Um, but I really think what's holding this Bills offense back is that run game. Um, and then again, and I'm so interested to see what they will end up doing with Daniel Jones. If Daniel Jones somehow takes some kind of step and becomes a good quarterback because Daniel Jones size wise, and you know, he's faster than Josh Allen. I think he's a more mobile quarterback, although Josh Allen is very mobile. It's not really a indictment on him. Um, but I think the ability, Josh, or excuse me, the ability for Dable to then go into New York and open up that offense is just going to be so interesting. So I'm really excited to see that. But in terms of how he will impact Josh Allen, in terms of regression, and I guess if I look at it from the pessimistic side, um, I think maybe it'll impact Josh. If you're looking at it kind of from the pessimistic side, it's like, all right, you're losing Dable. This offense hasn't hasn't yet had that game where it's like we're elite 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 when you beat the chiefs in the playoffs you're elite 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 right um i think that patriots game was a big step towards it what they were able to do that patriots defense that was a perfect offense performance and again the bills are right there i'm not saying that they're any, but i think losing dable may halt some of that progression of the offense or halt some of that ability to then go take that step again ken dorsey may be able to pick it up perfectly if they end up signing him so i might be wrong but i think Losing Dable will have its pros and cons, um, and not even pros, but like it'll have its cons, and then just it won't impact. And I think the more I'll say pros, because I don't, I can't think of another. The pros it'll have will outweigh the cons, and I think they will be just fine. Um, and I think Bill's Mafia will be great. And again, like Josh Allen said, the kind of the or not the kind of the the uh, potential this offense has. I think I think it's still missing a piece or two. But even then, if you don't get them, it's still a great offense. I think it's missing one more speedy slot guy because i think mckenzie's free agent and then a a workhorse running back a big running back then i think this team is is right there and they'll be able to compete and i think dable will hopefully as a giants fan will do fantastic with the giants hopefully we'll see the two teams play in the playoffs soon hopefully um although it would be in the super bowl let's let's hope it happens uh actually let's hope it doesn't happen i don't really want to play josh allen but if daniel jones somehow takes that step and becomes the next josh allen i'd love to see it but uh hoping I'm saying I hope they will luck, but I will be a Giants fan, so I guess I'll be experiencing the luck. I hope he does do well for the Giants organization, and uh, I think the Bills will be just fine. So Bills Mafia, I wouldn't worry. But who knows? Maybe it, maybe uh, they do get impacted. I doubt it, but I guess we'll have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Key and McDermott from The Sports Scoop. Make sure you guys do follow us on social media at The Sports Scoop and let us know what you think about uh they will say what do you think do you think that he'll have an impact i would love to know get uh, let me know in the comments down below without further ado see you next time